Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy, and we are back here on World of Warcraft. Um, I decided that since um, the new 6.1 patch unlocked the ability to where you can use your uh, BOAs in Pandoria, that I would do a mage, a panda mage. And of course, since it's Magsy, uh, she has to be female. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Magsy, Mag any tune with the name Magsy always has to be female. So, um, we're starting this off here in the uh, starting panda area, and I'm Where doing my first quest. Pass, greatness, I, I'm gonna leave these up here just long enough for you to read them. I'm not gonna read these, guys. I've I've played hundreds of pandas, so. <laughs> So they want you to come down here and get your starting weapons. I don't really need these, but I, uh, for the quest you have to, you have to get them and then equip them. Yeah. So. B. I keep pressing I because in some of the games, my inventory is I. Okay. So that that completed that. So we can go in here. My time is passing. Now it is. Your time you still are neutral, swiftly. so you still can't send stuff to yourself. I don't even think you can get mail while you're over here. I haven't really never seen a mailbox in Pandoria, so I don't know. Okay, for this one it says destroy five training targets. Cool. So we should be able to come down here and knock this out. So the training targets are these guys right here, and you just uh, just tap target. Here we go. I need to target something <laughs> first. Is it a... I don't want, there's no walking sound. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Let me check my sound out. Well, there's, there should be some sound. I don't know. Something weird with this area, I guess. Forget injuries. Never forget kindnesses. Yeah, there's totally no sound in this. That's weird. They must have screwed something up with the latest patch. Defeat trainees. Yes, we will. Defeat six trainees. And they, they're inside this little area here. Um, I don't know what the deal was with the sound, guys. Um, uh, Next episode, I'll make sure it's... They might have to do something to do the patch. No, they did the patch. So, with these guys, you just just attack them. You won't. You don't kill them. Just get them down low enough to where they stop attacking. You can't. I don't think you can actually kill them. To be honest with you. And then once once they get low enough, they they'll bow to you and leave. There we go. And it doesn't have to be these guys in front. You can be these guys on the side too. Yeah. So there we go. And then old boys right here. Our greatest trials yet lay before us. Now this one gets a little. Oh, we got to go up here and get the. Uh... Oh, it automatically snatched from his hand. That's weird. I guess it used to. It would glitch up, and uh, you wouldn't be able to actually target his hand. So I guess it automatically did it. Now. There we go. So that's weird. We're just going to jump right down in the middle. <laughs> it 
It is good to see you, my student. Defeat Jamru. Okay. Cool. So Jamru's out this way. To the bottom of the hill. Now he is pretty hard depending on what class you get get with him. You shouldn't have too much trouble with the BOAs. Shouldn't have too much trouble. I hope everybody's doing alright there. Um, this is him over here. Looks like somebody just got done beating him. Yeah, there's no sound. That's weird. Yeah, he jumps up in the air and does these little flips and stuff, knocks you around. I need a target. But it's pretty easy. Let, let's go to s system again. Oh, the music. Let me turn all this up a little bit. See if that helps. No. Our greatest trials yet lay before us. I don't know what it is. Don't know. Now it does take about an hour to get out of the starting area here, so uh, we're only going to play for about 20, 25 minutes. So, uh, and and if you if you have tried to send me mail yet, you probably won't be able to while I'm in this starting area. So, just just be mindful of that. Uh, a couple little tips. Um, when you're coming in here to play, don't don't push yourself to level. Just come in here and get into the areas and, and enjoy yourself, and then, and then the the levels come on there. Some people, like my wife, gets on here and she'll like, I'm level 29. I need to get level 30. I need to get level 31. I need to get level 32. It just it gets annoying, and then you get you get so used to doing that that uh, it takes all the fun out of the game. Jade Serpent. Okay, so we have items of utmost importance. Uh, recover trainee supplies from amber leaf scamps. Okay. And find the cart driver. May the mist protect you. So basically, up here, uh, these little things here. Let's see. Here. These things. Uh, attacked a wagon and, and, and took all the stuff. Which you can see the wagon right here. And uh, you have to go up here and uh, save this guy from from getting killed. And you can attack these things on the way, but uh, if you come over here, these these guys already uh, auto attack you, so it's it's easier to kill these guys first. No, no, no. I need to get closer. No, you don't. And and you basically have, have to have kill these guys to uh, save the dude. So come on. Oh goodness, I forgot about that. So one thing that I hate. Um. Auto loot, guys. Why can't you make auto loot default? I don't understand it. People can cut it off if they want. I don't know anybody when they start a tune don't use auto loot. I mean, when you get later in levels, yeah, you want to you want to only pick up certain stuff. But like when you start out, most of the time you ain't got no money. Um, majority of people are just gonna pick up everything and sell it. Ooh, got a free bag. Okay, that was it. I might as well take care of this last one. Now, as you kill stuff randomly in the starting areas, there's always a chance for you to pop a bag off. So there's no real point in you sending bags to yourself when you first start out, unless it's like the really big bag, like like 14 slots or more. You might want to go ahead and send it. Is it the, for those of you who don't know, in the bottom corner right here, there's uh, slots here, and you can equip your own bags in these slots. And they don't 
you don't they don't charge you for the slots these are free slots so and and the bags are sold at vendors for like really really cheap or you can go to the AH and buy them the the ones that other players have made or you can just go tailoring or leather working and uh, make your own bags and some sometimes there's quests that will actually give you bags free bags so a challenge cool. in compassion Welcome. and humility by helping merchant Lorvo it would seem you have passed Next one is Master on me. Shang would be pleased there's see no like that one we gave you a cloak and a bag so now we got two bags patience is the highest protect Usu while she meditates okay so to do this one you have to go up here and she'll be up in here meditating she actually cheats and jumps half across the mountain to get up here before you <laughs> you'll get used to that kind of stuff though keep those creatures at bay while I meditate that spell is not ready yet seek. so there's already I somebody in here but your timer's down here so you have to fill this timer up while she's meditating so when this timer's full I for you that's when uh, you'll know that uh I need a target. So I do not have a target. And it's hard to I fill the to bar up with all these first. people in here. I need a target. I need to yeah. target something. Actually, first. I don't know if it's I don't know if it goes up on its own or you have to kill stuff to make it go up. So I need a target so. that is still recharging. I cheated and used my area spell. Look, Frost Major's the only one who gets an area spell to start out with. There we go. There's like five guys in here. I need a target. I do not have a target. I guess everybody had the same idea I did. For the BOAs. I need to target something first. Yeah. I do not have a target. Come on. That spell is not ready yet. I need a target. I need to target something first. I'm, I'm targeting stuff, guys. It's just, uh, they're dying so fast when the guys are attacking them that um, my spell's not getting to a chance to actually cast all the way. Speak to Jin Firepaw. Okay. So at the beginning, I'm probably going to do everything. Uh, I want to do like a full Let's Play. And, and anybody who's seen my Let's Plays, I usually try to show everything. But that's a little hard to do with uh, games like this where you have to level a lot. But uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, there are certain I'm going the wrong way. There are certain uh, level periods where I don't quest and I just run dungeons, and there are certain periods where I don't run dungeons at all. I just quest. So, so um, uh, when I get to those points, I'll probably just run a couple of dungeons on camera until I get over that level, level, uh, little level part that I want to get to. I think what we're going to do here is we're going to get to where we get to the main city. Take that, monkey butt. And then uh, we'll go from there. Welcome. So, dude, what do you want? Kill five and Fusung attackers. And you can just stand here and target. I need a target. They're just hanging around everywhere. Just basically I tab need to target. target something first. My keyboard is driving me nuts. It it's even, but every time I set it flat, it uh does that little. I do not have a target. Like it's uneven. I don't know. I need to target something first. Yeah, as you can see, you don't have I to do actually not go have anywhere. A target. And we're done. And we just walk up to one of these. Now, if you haven't played WoW in a while, they did add in uh, area loot during uh, MOP. So you just right-click on one mob, and it actually loots all the time bodies. Time to act. 
is always now. So, kindling the flame. We need five dried wood. It's good to see you. And fluttering breeze. Okay. And I believe those are this way. Now, in the other area of where we was at, the mobs were yellow. Which I've already explained in a previous video what that means. I need a now, these, these mobs here are red. And um, they will attack you on sight. If you get close enough, they'll attack you. Unless they're preoccupied. Like that dude's attacking this dude. On That's a purpose battle right there. Or the game the game has them to battle on, on purpose. Um, if either one of those kills each other, then he'll turn to you and, and attack you. Or, or if he's the one that dies, then that dude will just run around and try to find another little monkey to uh, attack. Come on. So you have to watch out when you come through here and, and just go ahead and target these red guys here. And uh, if they're more, if a, if an enemy is more powerful than 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 you can handle, it'll have a little skull underneath his name. I'll show you, like this guy right here has a two, and as you can see, his name is in yellow, so he won't attack you unless you attack him. But this guy here, he's level three, and uh, so. I do and not if an enemy target. is more than, let's see, I think now, don't don't quote me on this. I believe it's uh, fifteen percent of your level higher than you higher than your level, or five levels, whichever is bigger. Um, then it will show up as a skull in your in in the little uh, thing like here. There'll be a little skull right here where this number is. Or it might be just be five levels, and I'm just an idiot. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing. So you stand here and you summon that thing, and then uh, this guy comes out. And we're just gonna pop him twice. There we go. Take that. There we go. And uh, I don't have to kill the monkeys. I I'm just just goofing off. I'm actually looking for the little uh, lit up little uh, highlighted things right here. I know. Lay down. Here we go. And uh, pretty soon we'll get a uh, blink, which would be awesome. I love blink. There we go. This should be the last one. And now we can go back and turn this in. I think blink is five, fifth level. Let's see. Now, if you press P, P is the button for this hotkey. You can also open it by clicking on your spell book here or you can highlight each individual tab and in parentheses it'll tell you what button to press to open them so that's cool so and if you press P and open it up it'll tell you beside each ability what level you get it at and uh, unlike old uh, WoW um, they, you, you just automatically get the abilities now you don't have to go train or anything the only time you want to train is when you need to uh, reset your uh, talents or, or your your specialization or anything like that. Now, I am going mage, but I am not going to tell you guys what my specs going to be just yet. <laughs> I need to target something first. Now, the easiest one to use to level with is actually frost, because um, your ability here slows the enemy. It's movement by 40%, so it takes them longer to get to you. So you can like, you can stand like really far out and just do pop shots at them, and basically kill them before they even get to you. Uh, we will not be going fr uh, frost. Just, just so the you. greatest virtue is the will to um, act. The one we will be doing, um, I'm with it kind of starts kind of slow. So my DPS probably won't be that high as as it, as a normal mage would be for, for uh, frost or arcane. My student. But I just gave it away, didn't I? <laughs> so guys, we'll be going fire on this team since I gave it away. I'm a doofus neck. So it wants us to go ahead and go to the next place now. Um, if it's popular on the server. These guys over here might be um, already dead, 
or being attacked by other people in which case you can come across this bridge and there's more things over here of these monkeys that you can kill there we go uh, we don't need to kill these guys though we just need to get through here and uh, this guy's going to attack me I'm going to keep running through these guys just so I don't get caught by two or three of them and uh, I do not have a target go. Yeah, uh, fire is actually my favorite uh, spec for uh, mage. I love fire. Um, they've been they goofed up on it during MOP though, so it's been kind of derpy. So <laughs> okay, so we need to go up to the top here without dying from these fire things, and you shouldn't die from these. If, if you if you play right you can just run right through them. now for this guy he's gonna have you do a ritual and then he's gonna attack you and then you have to beat the snot you out of him. most welcome so May the red crane live for so you light the torch here in your heart. and then you go around and light all these torches and I don't know what this has to do with him attacking you I'm guessing he's a ghost, so he can't attack you unless this specific ritual is done. There we go. Oh, we gotta turn it in first. Yeah. You have the eyes of one who has traveled much. So he knocks us back. Now this guy does a couple of things. Um, he shouldn't be too hard though. For our fire rotation, we want to constantly cast a fireball that is still recharging. or a frost fireball, which will be fireball soon. And uh, we want to keep our fire blast on cooldown. I cannot cast that yet. So, and, and, and once you get him down so low, uh, you win, and then he teleports himself back over here. What and then you just turn the quest in, see? and then he gives you another bag. Nice. May you find mastery in your passions. And then we go get Hanzo, the spirit of fire. Now I've had this quest glitch up a few times. You just basically jump in the water here and walk up to this thing, and then you press the little bag here. And uh, she'll do this on her own. You don't have to keep pressing up the thing. This is her own little. Um, animation they have for that quest. So when you're done with that, oh, we gotta click on him. Now, if you are in a party and both y'all are doing this quest, um, both y'all won't. You won't. Well, you didn't used to. I don't know if they changed it or not. But both y'all won't see this guy. Uh, you'll see it on your screen, and he'll see it on his screen, but you won't see two of them floating around. There'll only be one on, on the screen at a time. And uh, there's actually a back way down here. Yes. But you can't climb up, but you can come down. There. Well, I don't think you can climb up that way. And now we are supposed to deliver this to the temple. So once we get up to the top here, guys, we're going to end the episode here. And the next episode, we'll go get the other two uh, spirits or three spirits. I think it's three. So I think you turn this one in, and then there's three more spirits you have to go get. So guys, if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications when, you have, when I have new videos out. And you come check them out, see if you like them. If you like this, if you like those, and then you want to share them with your friends, tell them how much you like them. There's your share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. At. And I will see you guys on the next episode. If there's something that you want to me to explain about the game to you, just leave it in the comments, and then I'll get around to it. When we get to that Welcome, here. Welcome, Hyo. The people have missed your warmth. So you bring this guy up here and you just turn it in.
Forget injuries. Never forget kindness. You have conquered every okay, Now I'm not going to talk to him again because he automatically accepts the quest. So um, I'm just going to end it here so we can grab it while, while we're on camera. So I'll see you guys later.